Now, at a certain point tonight, the independent counsel team's investigation into the power abuse and corruption scandal in Korea reaching new heights. Jung Yura, the daughter of a key figure in the case, has been arrested in Denmark. Hwang Ho Jun has our top story. It was a first official briefing of the new year, and the independent counsel team's main announcement on Monday afternoon was that Jung Yura had been arrested in Denmark. Jung is the daughter of Choi Sun Sil, the woman at the heart of the scandal. She was caught by local Danish police in the northern city of Olborg on late Sunday evening local time for an illegal stay, though that hasn't been confirmed by the independent counsel. She was taken into custody with four others, including a toddler who appears to be her son. Chong had been the subject of a Europe-wide manhunt for several weeks as Korean prosecutors want to question her on allegations that Choi helped her gain entry into Ehwai Women's University. The independent counsel team is also investigating claims that Choi used her connection to President Park to help her daughter gain sponsorship with Korean companies for her aspiring dressage career. The independent counsel team put Chong on Korea's wanted list at the end of last month and had asked for Interpol's help in finding her after she failed to return to the country to answer questions about her role in the scandal. As the investigation heats up, more key figures are being called in for questioning. Earlier in the day, former senior presidential secretary for education and culture Song Gwangyong was questioned about the presidential office's alleged creation of a cultural blacklist of artists critical of the government. Another former senior advisor, An jong Bom, was questioned for a third time about his role in a controversial merger between Samsung CNT and Chael Industries that took place last July. Several Samsung executives are also set to be questioned on the merger this week. The team also confirmed that Moon Hyung Pyo, who was the chief of the National Pension Service, and Chang Shi Ho, Choi Sun Shil's niece, were also called in for questioning today. The independent counsel team says it will work with the relevant authorities, including the Interpol and the Danish police, to bring Chong back to Korea. And when that happens, the already intense probe is likely to take yet another turn. Pang Ho Jun, Arirang News.